Hey guys, it's Alex here, and I'm back with Horsham for our first season review. Uh, just go through the last few games, because as you know, last game we actually won the league with our win over Hailsham. So we just have the last few games to get through and all the sort of awards and whatnot of um, Horsham, because we are going up in our first season, which is quite nice. Um, so... Uh, first off, let's just look at our fixtures, what we had left. After that Hailsham win, we actually did quite well. We actually drew, though, unfortunately, first off with 1-1 uh, with Broba Chief. Uh, Bilo Kamara with our only goal of the game. Um, if I just get TV on. Um, yeah, our, you got early goal for us here um, in the 23rd minute. Branford plays it into Walker, saved, and Kamara's up for the rebound. But unfortunately, 86th minute, Niall Freeman equalised for them to give them the draw, even though we completely dominated, really, really should have uh, finished it off, especially when we had five clear-cut chances, so it was a bit annoying in that. Um, afterwards, though, we destroyed Pagham 4-1. Uh, very nice here. Pilo Kamara with 37th minute goal uh, to set us off. Walker going through down the left. Kamara, as you can see, running down the right. Puts a great ball across. Easy finish for him. Puts up 1-0. Five minutes after half-time, Dan Walker makes it 2 Ball played at the top, uh, closing down the keeper. I don't know what the keeper is. This is sort of non-league football. Literally passes it to Walker for his 10th goal of the season. I don't even know. Uh, goalkeeper AI, right? Uh, um, uh, 40 minutes later, though, Sheriff got us our third and practically sealed the win with a good header from a corner. And then finally, in the 18th minute, um, Yasa Fernandez sealed the win as he was subbed on. Uh, going through, good finish past the keeper. Uh, they got a consolation. Actually, well, actually they equalised just at half time through a penalty, which is quite annoying. But afterwards, we pretty much took over um, and deserved to win. So, very good play by us. After that game, uh, we took on Shoreham um, and we beat them 2 0, uh, which is quite good. Byla Kamara again, uh, getting another goal, third goal in three games. Just in the half time, Segura getting the ball on the left, crossing it over. Gets headed on and Kamara with a massive looping header over the keeper for his 12th goal of the season. And then towards the end, Segura got a goal here to seal the win for us and made it a bit more comfortable. Con leaping over Segura, who's open on the left, puts it in the back of the net. Good stuff by him. Uh, penultimate game of the season, Wick and Barnum was a 4-2 win away. Um, Dan Walker setting us off with a uh, good start here. In the sixth minute, Segura plays it out to Hamilton, puts a cross in, and Walker's there to finish it. Good start for us. Um, then Segura, 36th minute, uh, makes it 2-0 for us. Ball over the top, Segura runs through, stops, and then puts it past the keeper. Very good stuff by him. Sheriff, another corner, puts it in, another header. Good. Well, actually, was blocked initially, but then Sheriff is there to finish it off. And in the 68th minute, Connor Ocus seals it off the victory to make it 4-0, um, get on the edge of the box, but bottom corner. We did concede two in four minutes in the last 10 minutes, which is quite uh, annoying, but otherwise we did okay. Um, and at 4-2 win, there's quite... <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to be complaining about that. Um, and then finally, last game of the season was a 3-1 win against East Preston. Dan Walker again setting us off to a good start with a ninth minute uh, goal that we actually win the ball off there from Hamilton, put, plays it through first time, Walker stops, and then curls it around the keeper into the top corner. Very good finish for him. So he ends on 12 goals this season. Uh, Tony Nwachiku getting a goal. Uh, hasn't got one in a while. Dan Walker on the left, plays it across. Nwachiku, top corner as well. Very nice stuff for his 16th goal this season um, to finish off with. And then finally, 61st minute, Connor Okus gets the three goals to pre basically seal the win. From across, uh, good stuff. They got one back through Jazz Reigns. 76th minute wasn't going to stop us there. So that finished the league. Southern Combination League is finished. 95 points, 30 wins, 5 draws, 3 losses with a goal difference of 53. Very, very good play by our players. Um, if we look at our own awards uh, this year, we have the end of season awards. George Branford picked up uh, Matt players play or well, uh, fans play of the season had a very good season two goals uh, seven assists four man of the matches in 32 games with a 7.22 average rating 
one of our linchpins in the centre midfield, played nearly every game. Very, very good player. Luke Connolly coming up second, and then Noach Ku in third there. Dan Walker's goal of the season was versus East Preston. I think we just watched this, didn't we? Um, ninth minute. Yeah, it was actually. Literally just watched it. He stops, pulls it back, curls it around the corner, top corner. Very good stuff there. Sign of the season, kind of Ocus, I would definitely agree with that. Look at that, four and a half star ability. He can go far if he stays with us and we can get him on a good deal. In his 14 appearances, he had four goals, one assist, four man of the matches, and a 7.48 average rating. Very good stuff there. And then young player of the season was George Branford. Statistics wise, Noachiku, top goal scorer for us. Not the best actual striker, but he did get us 16 goals in his 31 games. Um, average rating was George Branford. Connor Ocus would have got more, but he didn't play enough games. Most assists actually are defenders, Luke Connolly and Lewis Hamilton, uh, both with nine assists each. Best cut pass completion was David Segura. Man of the matches was Noachku, and then George Branford, not the best with cards, 10 yellows and two reds there. So, yeah, um, our season review and review. It's pretty good when your moment to forget a 1-0 loss to Uckfield. So, quite happy with that. Um, if we look at Southern Combination Awards, I don't know if they actually have they given awards out yet. I don't even know if we have awards. No, we don't have awards. But if we look at the player stats, top goal scorer at Nwachiku was sixth. Top goal scorer had 34 goals for Pagham. Uh, and that was Michael Redmond, who only has about... It's just weird in the lower leagues. You can have a half-star rating, but still score 34 goals. So, not sure with that. Um, Lewis Hamilton and Connolly were tied for fourth with nine assists. Luke Denton had 19. A 33-year-old right-back, which is a bit odd. Um, but yeah, so it's been a rather good season. So we're going up into, I think, one of the Evo Stick leagues next. I don't really... Um, not too sure, actually, on what the next uh, league is because it's just I'm just looking to get promoted each time we're going to have a lot of players coming in and out we're bidding for a lot of players already and a lot of players are going in and out uh, soon so uh, I'll be back for the new season so um, I don't know if I'll be back for pre-season or just when I the first game back or something like that um, but yeah so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this it's been Alex and I'll see you guys later <laughs>